Well, if you have an S7 300 PLC and uh, an operator station with WinCC and you want to communicate data between the operator station and the S7 PLC through MPI cable. So let me draw, for example, the S7 PLC and uh, if this PLC has uh, an MPI port and on, on the other hand you have an operator station OS uh, a PC in which WinCC software has been installed, WinCC Explorer. All you need to do is to connect an MPI cable between the S7 PLC and uh, operator station. So the serial end of the MPI cable is connected to this side. The USB connector of the MPI cable is connected to the USB pro port of the operator station, right? So this is the physical connection of a uh, S7 PLC with the operator station having WinCC installed. Now I will take you through the process of setting of, of data communication between the S7 PLC and WinCC. Uh, the S7 PLC hardware and logic settings would be made in the semantic manager, right? While the uh, SCADA program would be made in the WinCC Explorer, right? So let us get started and go through the process. Well, in the first step, I will create a new project in Semantic Manager with the S7 300FP PLC, for example, with a digital input and a digital output card. Create a new project and MPI SCADA project. I will insert a new Sematic S7 300 station. Insert a rake for a 7 300 PLC. And uh, I will be inserting a 7 300 PLC CPU now with a and with an MPI interface. I will not uh, create a network no need for that because I just want to demonstrate uh, I just want to show how to connect an S7 300 PLC with a WinCC uh, operator station through an MPI cable right so no need for networking it a system module of digital input uh, a digital input card with 32 channels each 24 volt a digital output card of uh, 32 channels each 24 volt right so my, my hardware setting is now completed right i will save the project and uh, instead of a physical uh, plc i'll be using a simulator right the process is same for both right place the plc to the stop mode and I will download the project. Sorry, the interface is not the TCP IP, it's the MPI interface. So get the PLC to stop mode again and download the hardware configuration to the CPU, right? Now I'm done with my hardware setting. <clears throat> Let's straight away go to the Sematic WinCC. For the time being, put the PLC simulator to the run mode and observe whether the PLC is going online or not. Well, the PLC is going to the online mode. Well, the PLC is in the run mode, right? So, create now a new project, a SCADA project, a SCADA project in the WinCC Explorer. Create a new one. Single user project, and I will give it a name MPI SCADA. create the project straight away go to the tag management 
in the tag management I will add a new driver semantic s7 protocol suit well in the MPI uh, category I will first of all select system parameters and uh, over here I will select MPI if I have a physical PLC available right if we have a physical PLC and uh, uh, if you have a physical PLC connected to my operator station, right, or my PC having in CC software, but since I have a simulator over here, I will select uh, PLC simulator MPI. If you have an actual a physical PLC, you will simply select MPI, right? Okay. Now create a new connection. I will name it as an MPI underscore SCADA. In the connection parameters, I will will enter the slot number. Right? If you go to the physical hardware configuration of the PLC, you will find that the this is the rake zero, right? And in the slot two, we have an uh, a seven hundred PLC CPU, right? Uh, and the CPU has actually the MPI port in which we have connected the MPI cable so go to the semantic uh, WinCC tag management and over here you will enter the slot number 2 rec 0 right and you are done you are done with uh, your connection the S7 connection between the WinCC and the uh, S7 300 PLC now I want to check whether the connection has been established or not. Well, I will uh, enter the input channel of the digital input card of the 7300 PLC. Go to the hardware configuration. Well, this is the digital input card. And this one is your first channel I0.0, .0 right? I want to read the data of this first channel into the WinCC tag management section and I will display it on the graphics designer and this will uh, show me that uh, a connection actually has been established between the S7 PLC and WinCC and I will display the status of this input channel on the graphics designer HMI as well in the runtime so the whole purpose would be served right so let's go to the tag management section uh, over here I will give the name for example in first channel first input first digital input right well the data type is binary tag MPI SCADA is a name on the connection and the address is I0.0 .0. input 0 and it's the 0th bit as well so you are done now I will minimize it and I will display <coughs> this uh, first uh, digital input channel of the digital input card on the graphics runtime HMI create open the graphics designer and create a new picture and I will define this picture as the start picture of my HMI open the graphics uh, designer this page in the graphics designer and for demonstration purpose I will take a rectangle I will go to the properties of the rectangle well first of all I will set the global color scheme to no the color the background color I will associate with the status of the the digital tag that I uh, enter into the tag management of the WinCC dynamic uh, dialog it, the the type of the tag is boolean so if the 
digital uh, channel status is high i will set it as green and it, if it is low i will set it to red well the tag is mpi scada connection and the first digital input right i 0, 0.0 okay i will save the project now i'll go to the runtime if you look at the color of the rectangle it is according to my setting if the digital input is low if the digital input the first digital input of the digital input card is low this rectangle will be lit red and it will be lit green if the status of the digital tag is high right so click on the simulator i will set the first digital input of the first digital input card to high right and here you go it has been lit green right and uh, if i go to the tag management section over here you will observe the status of uh, the mpi scada connection it is green tick the green tick means that the communication between the vincc and ASEAN plc has been established if i place the cpu in the stop mode over here it has been turned red it means the connection has been dropped put the plc to the run mode and here you go again with an established connection an mpi connection between a sound plc and vincc so i hope you understood the process if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section see you in the next video